If you want to move up in levels, play tournaments, just become a better player in general, one of the things that you need to be able to do is hit a consistent drop volley into the kitchen, or more commonly, what we call the third shot drop. Today, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite drills designed to help you do just that. It's coming up soon. Hey everybody, it's CJ Johnson. Hitting a third shot consistently from a variety of places on the court is no easy order. In fact, it's probably one of the most difficult shots in pickleball. That's why this drill is so valuable. And before we get to that drill, if you haven't already done so, if you wouldn't mind, I think the subscribe button is over here down in the corner. Please hit the subscribe button. That tells YouTube that you find this content valuable and you'll get a notification anytime that I post a new video. Here's my favorite third shot drill. Painter's tape or some masking tape works perfectly for this drill. Place a piece of tape just behind the non-volley zone, three across, then again in the middle of the court, and then for the last time at the baseline. So you have nine pieces of tape on the court. It often helps to do the movement before you actually put a ball into play. So starting at the non-volley zone, Move side to side as well as backwards, stopping at each piece of tape and pretending to hit a shot from that piece of tape into the kitchen. Once you've gotten comfortable with the pattern, put a ball into play. Remember, your goal is to land the ball inside the kitchen each and every time you hit a shot from the nine different positions on the court. Make sure that once you've done this on one side of the court, start on the other side of the court. You're going to find that you'll get a few more backhands on one side versus the other. It also helps with your movement patterns, getting used to shuffling from side to side. Here's a little closer look at my footwork. What you'll notice as I move side to side is the weight is on the balls of my feet. When I'm ready to hit a shot, I stop my feet, set them, and you'll notice that the weight moves naturally backward and forward as I lift the ball with my legs and body over the net into the kitchen. Once you've done this drill a couple of times, reverse it, start at the baseline and move towards the non-volley zone. Just as it was in the first drill, it's very helpful to run the pattern without a ball before you put the ball into play. Oftentimes people ask why start at the non-volley zone and have a little bit of backward motion. Generally, it's because of success. Most people are fairly comfortable with a dink shot, and by starting at the non-volley zone, moving backward, they get more confidence inside of the motion. It's a little bit more difficult to start at the baseline and move forward. Spend just 10 minutes with this before you start to play. It'll do a couple things for you. It's gonna warm up your body, get your footwork going, and best of all, help you hit a more consistent third shot drop. If this video was helpful, if you wouldn't mind giving it a little thumbs up down below, and if you'd share it with your pickleball playing friends, that would be great, because together we can train smart, live bold, and age well.